guys it's your girl bb and i'm back with another video today i have with me a special guest mr kimani kimani is here so make sure you guys like comment and subscribe today we are doing an apple cider vinegar bath on his long locks and then we're also going to give him a good wash I'm definitely going to do a separate video of me styling his hair just because it takes so long to wash his hair. And then we're doing the deep wash. So anytime I do the apple cider vinegar bath, I let it sit on his hair for a little bit. And then I go in and wash his hair three times. First, we're starting with the cream of nature apple cider vinegar rinse. It's a long name, but don't worry. I'll have everything in the description box below for you guys. So make sure to check out my Amazon storefront for all of these lock products that we're going to use in this video. So this is really good to de detoxify your hair and remove all of the product buildup and just any dirt and excess, you know, stuff that gets into locks. Cause you know, with him being a kid, he does not cover up his hair every night. Um, I try to make him responsible for his hair, but yeah, he's a kid. So <laughs> we know how that goes. So I'm just working all of this apple cider, apple cider vinegar all through his hair. And then I just go through and massage it. Next, I do the baking soda. They say don't mix baking soda and apple cider vinegar, but I don't see the issue with it, especially when I'm trying to remove buildup. Um, I just have him cover his eyes and I sprinkle it all over his hair. I'm sure there's a better way to do this, but this is just our way of doing it. Um, having the shampoo bowl helps make this a little bit easier too. Um, so all I do is just sprinkle it all over his hair and do the same that I did with the apple cider vinegar, just massaging it through his hair softly. You'll hear that it starts to sizzle but yeah make sure you guys don't forget the kitchen that's like the main area of the hair that catches all the dirt and all the cotton balls and everything else is the back of your head especially for him because i do a uh, half up half down for his day-to-day -day style so make sure you guys really massage it and work it into the kitchen of your hair Once you see that the consistency of the baking soda is getting kind of thick and it's starting to kind of look and feel a little bit like clay, it's definitely time to rinse it out. So I do five to seven minutes of the baking soda sitting on his hair. I don't leave it on there for a long time just because I don't want there to be any white residue in his locks. And if you leave the baking soda on for a long time, you will notice a white residue on um, your hair. So just be mindful of that and don't leave it on your hair too long. All right, so now let's get into rinsing this stuff out of his hair. So mind you, he has the apple cider vinegar and the baking soda in his hair. So you're gonna see the water look really cloudy. Um, what I do when rinsing, whether it's an apple cider vinegar bath or a regular wash, I always do the squeeze method. Kind of like how you would use a sponge in the kitchen when it has water and it soaks up and you just squeeze it to wring it out. That's what I do with the locks. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe and share this video with your friends, family, whoever. Um, I'll be doing more lock content. So just let me know what you guys like in the comments or what you want to see. And I will try to make a video for you. Now we're going to ask Kimani some questions about his hair because I'm sure you guys will have a few questions down in the comments. So we are going to get Mr. Kimani to answer some luck questions. Kimani, so the first question is, do you like having locks? You like your hair like this? Yes. 
the next question is, do you think you will cut your hair one day? Yes. You do? Mommy. You want to cut your hair off so it's no longer long? Mm -hmm. And you have to brush your hair with a hairbrush? So the last question I have for you, Money, is if you could dye your hair any color, what color would it be? It will be teal. Teal? Okay. That's your favorite color? Mm -hmm. Okay. See you guys, that concludes my little Q&A segment with Kimani. I hope you guys enjoyed those questions. If you have some more, be sure to drop those down below in the comment section and we might make another video of him answering some questions. I'm sure you guys wanna see how I retwist his hair. So just let me know if you guys are interested in seeing that and I'll be sure to drop that video for you guys as well. All right, so let's get into this wash. So I showed you guys what kind of shampoo I'm going to use on the first wash. Like I said before, everything will be in my Amazon storefront. So you can find that in the link down below in the description box. So be sure to check that out. Um, it has black castor oil in it, which is really good for locks. So what I do guys, whenever I'm shampooing hair, I always kind of separate the locks whether it's going to be in four sections or just two with the top and the bottom. So that's what I did here since I have them in the shampoo bowl. So I just separate the top and bottom half of his hair and then I wash the bottom and then I'm going to go back and do the same thing to the top. And I do this just to make sure that all of the hair gets clean. All right, so now we're getting started with this other section. So I split the top section into two because his hair is super thick. And again, I just wanted to make sure that all of his hair is super clean. Since we're doing the um, detox on his hair, I wanna make sure that this wash is worth it. Um, as you can see, like the water is already kind of clear. It just looks soapy and cloudy a little bit um, from the baking soda. But for the most part, his hair is already clean and this is the first wash. So that's really good. Um, that lets me know that the apple cider vinegar and the baking soda really helped cleanse his locks and helped get all of that buildup out of his locks and out of his scalp. Because look at just look at his scalp, it looks super clean and clear. Um, his hair looks long and healthy. You can see the hair that I have still in the ponytail holder to the left. You can see the baking soda on the ends of his locks. So just be sure that you are doing the squeeze method so that you can get all of the baking soda and the apple cider vinegar out of your locks. That's why I do it first and then I do the wash just to make sure that we have that out of our hair. Mm -hmm. 